Once the charger is installed and switched on, connecting to the app is a straightforward process for an installer of Project TV. Please note, this tutorial is for users of the iOS operating system only. Press the register icon in the top right corner and fill in your details in the boxes. All rows with an asterisk need to be filled in, including the installer details. Once signed up, press the add button to add the EV charger and either enter the serial number or press the sweep the code to add button to scan the QR code on the side of the charger. The charger will appear on the home screen Press on the charger to access the home screen. Press the settings icon in the top right corner before heading into the initial setup selection on the drop down menu. Click the WLAN page setup option and search for the Wi Fi which contains the serial number. Once selected, enter password. Go back to the app, you'll see the serial number of the charger appear on the screen. Press connected, next step and the charger will take up to 10 seconds to connect to your app. The charger settings will then appear and you can adjust the language, time zone and check the ID serial number. You can also input the Wi-Fi details and password. If you are using a CT clamp to access solar features, you can enable power distribution charge. Choose CT as the external current sampling method and set the external monitored max input power. The kilowatt rating is the same as the main fuse size. Solar mode has three options, fast, eco and eco plus. Fast charges the car using maximum output power. Eco charges the car using solar and mains. Solar can only be used up to 3.6 kilowatts. Eco Plus charges the car using solar only, but won't charge until you are generating 6 amps. If you have battery storage in your property, the car won't charge until the battery is full. Once you have finished making all adjustments required, press save to confirm selection. Your charger will now be available and ready to use. In the settings menu, you can access charging information, including the location, charger ID, and country or city of where the charger is located. In the charger settings menu, you can access a simplified menu and adjust the method of control, currency, charging rates, solar mode, and enable low powered scheduled charging. The EV Smart Charge regulations are shown here and you can adjust the times the end user wants to operate the charger. Once chosen, press Enable to activate settings. Once you have finished adjusting the end user settings, make sure you delete the charger from your app by swiping the charger to the left. This will not delete any settings and will only delete the charger from the app. If you don't do this, the end user will not be able to charge on their account. For further support, check out our website, which features more tutorials, user manuals, data sheets, and further information on your chosen charger.